Yes. Start with the comment. Did he say he's coming? I think he said that. No, I'm with you. I'm ready okay, now. Okay, okay, okay. Right, so if you have read and understood, considering that history taking station, can you begin? I walk into the station, I sanitize my hand. Hello, good morning. I'm Dr. Fabian, the exam candidate. May I confirm your name and your age, please? Hello, uh, I'm Nada, 43 years old. Okay, I've been asked to, to uh, interact with you concerning your health condition. Are you okay with that? Please? Yes, sure. Okay. All right. Can you please tell me what the problem is so I will know how to help you? So I've been having um, a lot of pain in my legs whenever I'm walking or doing any activities, uh, and that is uh, very bothersome for me. So uh, it is, um, I'm not able to uh, do a lot of activities at home because of the pain that I'm having and pain is very severe. Oh, okay. So sorry, you have pain, pain but um, it's been the most severe form of pain. Where would you grade this of pain, please? So I would rate it as nine out of 10. Wow, that's that's some pain. Oh, so sorry, sorry about that. Do you do you, do you need some analgesic before we continue? No, I think I'll be able to um, answer your questions. Okay, that's good, madam. Um, what were you doing when you noticed this pain? Is it you said? Sorry, you said is when you're walking. Is there any other thing you notice that makes the pain come on or makes it worse? Uh, yes. So if I'm walking upstairs, um, my pain is more, or uh, usually I uh, go to the gym. Um, oh. When I'm doing, I start doing some exercise, the pain is more. So usually I have to stop what, uh, stop doing whatever I am doing, and uh, it gets better when I take some rest. Oh, good, good, good. All right. Um, does the pain go uh, radiate maybe to your from? Do you think the pain is coming from your waist down to your leg, or the pain is just there, or does the pain radiate to your foot? Is there anything you can describe about it? So, does it go? Not yes, right? really that I have felt that the pain goes anywhere. It just stays. It, it's usually more in the calf area and in at the back of my thigh. Okay. Is there but any particular back. time? Oh, 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 that's good. I note that. I just noted that. All right. Is there any particular time of the day that the pain is worse? You've noticed? Uh, no, not really. It's time bound. It's uh, more with the work and not with the time. Okay, that's good. Do you have idea of anything that may have caused this at the point it started? Not really. I have no idea because I do not have any condition that would cause this pain. Okay. All right. Um, what 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 particularly worries you about this your condition now? So, likewise, I told you um, uh, this pain because of that. I'm not able to walk. I can only walk few steps. I cannot walk to the gym. I can, uh, you know, I have to go to my office to work, and that's I walk to my office, and I cannot go over there. I cannot go to the gym. I cannot do any other activities. So that is really bothersome. No problem. With that, we are going to help you. Do you have um, um, numbness in your limb? I see limb is not yours anymore. Numbness or heaviness? Sorry, come again. Do you have numbness? Numbness, numbness. tingling no. sensation on no. your leg? No, okay. no, I do not. Do you have headache? Mm, no, I do not. Do you have cough? 
No. Do you have problems with your urination? Any problem with your water works? Mm, nothing significant, I believe. Do you, do you see your GP for any uh, problem like hypertension, diabetes, or take any medications for those? I do not take any medications and uh, no, no. My, uh, I did not visit uh, my GP for, it's been a couple of years. Okay, you don't take any medication. In other words, you are not allergic to any medication or is there anyone you're aware of? Uh, no, I'm not allergic to any medication. Do you have any family member with this problem? Similar yes, problem. my I guess my father had a similar kind of condition, but that was when he was too old that he developed this kind of condition. I'm going to ask you some really personal questions now. Do you mind if I go ahead? Yeah, sure. Do you smoke? Uh, yes. Okay. Like how many um, cigarettes per day? Uh never counted but it may either go from 10 to 15 or maybe two to four in a day depends on how the weather is okay. um who do you live with at home i live alone okay um is there any other thing you want to tell me concerning our interaction anything else you would like me to know Nida? um no i think i have told you what was bothering me the most so what do you expect from this after this our conversation what do you expect from us really so what are your expectations? Um, i want you to do anything that can first um, decrease my pain or i'm able to at least uh, carry out my daily activities okay Nida, i'm going to assure you that we are going to do all we can to help you that's okay can you present yeah. your history now all right okay. thank you Thank you, Neda. Um, I'm going to sanitize my hand now. I've, I've interacted with a 43-year-old um, lady who is um, who presented with um, uh, with pain in both um, calf. She's um, pain in both calf that made that's made worse on walking, but relieved by on resting. She's she takes cigarettes and has a family history of similar condition. Yes. So what are the differential diagnoses that you'll consider? Hello. Yes, ma'am. My differential yes. diagnosis include chronic limb ischemia, yes. um, spinal, spinal stenosis. It could also be acute limb ischemia, but it could be acute limb ischemia. It could also be sciatica, ma'am. OK. Uh, how do you intend to manage this patient? I am going to um, first of all um, take a, after uh, I'm going to take a detailed examination, do a full cardiovascular examination, do uh, a neurological examination on this patient. Thereafter, I want to discuss with her to counsel her concerning her lifestyle. Yes. Um, going to do the non-operative medication uh, 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 management, management, which will include, I will encourage her to reduce um, or stop smoking, check or control um, if she's hypertensive. But in this case, my patient is not hypertensive. I will check yes. and monitor her blood pressure. I will also check her lipid profile. I will check her blood sugar to check if she if she's diabetic, to rule out diabetes. Um, after that, I will discuss with the patient and um that's for the non-operative money. Then in the and, case where yes. this fails, I can now consider other, I can consider other surgical options like um, stenting um, yes. or grafting or revascularization um, techniques like bypass, bypassing right. the, the, the area of stenosis. How would you differentiate between the spinal and the vascular claudication? In spinal... In spinal claudication, it's usually um, spinal claudication. There is um, numbness. There's usually numbness um, at the at the at the lower limbs. In, yes. in, in addition to the pain that is believed from walking on leaning forward, ma'am. And uh, where is for peripheral claudication or vascular claudication? 
Then for vascular claudication, for vascular claudication, the patient, the patient could be a known hypertensive also. Um, she could she will also complain of a pain in the calf that increases yeah. on walking. Then why for for for, for spinal stenosis, the pain will reduce on leaning forward, ma'am. Okay, how would you define uh, what is uh, what is critical limb ischemia at rest? Critical limb ischemia is um, is severe onset is a um, rest pain that um, severe onset of pain at the lower limb or the limbs that is even worse or present while the patient is at rest, ma'am. Good. And it's usually associated with an ABPI of less than 0 0.3. 0 0.3, yes, good. Anyone want to give feedback? Uh, I can say he's yes. a good presenter and yes. the co-director that he's a good actor. Yes. He's a good actor. Uh, he's did very, very good well. Actor. Very good actor. Yes, yeah, he was, it was very nice. It was. It yeah. seemed as if very good, very good. She taking. He just reality. made me feel as if it was the exam. Yes, <laughs> she, exactly. she's give. Wow. She's give everything. <laughs> yes. she's give everything without without uh, any uh, effort. So yes, nice. So I just have uh, one point for yes. Victor, because he said, uh, "Wow, good, good." Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. At if one you, point, you, I, even I felt uh, he wasn't supposed to say good. So, yeah. So if you look for the for the record, and we, we imagine this word when you say it, and you know what was what what we say about this. It is, yeah. It's not a, the side for uh, to say, uh, "Wow!" When she said it's nine. Yeah, you, no, so, you don't say yes. And then yeah. are you hearing after hearing the con uh, complaints, you don't say, okay, that's good. Uh, because yes, this good. is never good. This we have already discussed. It's yes, never good. Any condition, yeah. any pain or, uh, yes, maybe I think he felt because the answers he was mm. expecting he was getting. That's why he is pointing yes. out. He said, good. I understood. I understand that. Yes. But in real exam, never say good to the after hearing patient's condition because it's never good. You say, yes. um, all right, I yes, I appreciate your concern or really sorry to hear that. Yes, is it that bad? You can like, uh, it does not have to answer uh, with the positive. You can answer a question with the question as well. Oh, is it that bad? Instead of saying, wow, you can say, oh, is it that bad? All right, so okay, mm -hmm. next question. So like you have to adapt your own question strategy which suits your personality. This is what I've already said. Something which yes, is natural for you and it suits your personality, but never say it's good or it's fine because it's never fine. It's never good. You don't have this condition in this young age. 43 is young, you know, so that's yes, what keep it in your mind. Yes, I know you know it. That's why I'm saying it. Thank you. Just Thank keeping you, it yeah, in your but, mind is important. Yes. In fact, as, after I said that, wow, I, I listened to myself. I said, did I just say this? Yes. <laughs> you just said wow. And that was wrong to say. Yes. Good. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, Thank you, you so 